Hello there, everybody. Thank you for stopping by to hang out with me. I just want to give you a quick update before we get to the readings. For my Reiki apprenticeship program, we are now at 31%. Yay! Thank you so much to all of you who have contributed and to all of you who will still contribute because I know you're still out there. Um, it's just been so exciting to meet all of you and work with you, and I'm very excited to see this moving forward, 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 forward. It's so cool. Um, getting a lot of fun out of doing Reiki on people, just seeing the results is just wonderful and amazing. Uh, for those of you who don't know it, because it's come to my attention, quite a few people have said to me, oh, I gave, I wasn't expecting anything back. For those of you who don't realize this, when you do make a donation, um, I do I'll offer to give a gift back to you in the form of Reiki Minutes. So um, just for those of you who did not realize that, that is uh, part of the deal if you should choose to take me up on that offer. But anyway, I'm just very excited. Now on to the forecasts. Hello there Aquarius, thank you so much for stopping by for your tarot video forecast for the week of September 26th through October the 2nd. What we have coming up for you Aquarius on Monday is the Hierophant in Reverse. The Hierophant in Reverse just means that you're going to be doing something in a very non-traditional way. This could be going into work and realizing, wow, this old filing system is the pits. Let's update it. <laughs> Let's do it in a new better, more efficient way, and let's get rid of this old traditional way that people have been using just because uh, that's the way everybody's always done it before. So um, could be something that just as mundane as something like that. It could be something that's a lot of fun, you know, just doing something that's very non-traditional, out of the box, um, not along with um, the everyday thinking of most of the people that you normally hang around with, okay? Wow, you guys have quite a few. You have three major arcana this week, and they're all back to back to back. On Tuesday, you have the emperor showing up, and I'm hearing that this is somebody that you are interacting with on Tuesday. Now, obviously, the emperor has a lot of authority. He can be male, or he can be a very assertive female, either way. Um, but this is somebody who is large and in charge, are the words that I've been given. And so, let's see, what do you guys need to know about the emperor? I feel like for a lot of you, this is a large and in charge figure from work. For some of you, this is going to be somebody who is uh, has a lot of holds a lot of authority in the family. This could be a patriarch or a matriarch. Um, I'm just looking for the significance of this interaction to be able to tell you kind of what to expect from that. I think that this person is going to be, from what I'm hearing or feeling, I think this person is going to be giving you some kind of news. Um, so something that you didn't know before, or maybe you just had kind of heard hints of before, this person is going to be coming to you with um, actual official word on something or official news on something um, that's going on either at work, at home, wherever would be applicable here, uh, depending on who the emperor is in your life. I feel like this is news of a change. I don't feel like this is necessarily good news or bad news, but news of a change that's coming along that you're going to have to um, adjust to. All right, so let's look at Wednesday. What we've got here, Aquarius, is we do have the Magician in Reverse. This just means beware the trickster. You've got somebody in your life on Wednesday that's trying to pull one over on you. This can be anybody from a practical joker all the way up to the con man who wants to get the 401k or the IRA or whatever out of grandma's retirement. Um, so there's a lot of different range here. But you just want to keep your eyes open. If you are signing any contracts, if you are agreeing to anything, you want to make sure that you're looking at all the fine print and that you know all the details before you sign on the dotted line. Okay, now Thursday, what we have here is the Two of Cups. And the Two of Cups is just telling me that on Thursday there's some kind of 
uh, probably a relationship that's moving forward, or it could be something that you really enjoy a lot, like a hobby or a project that you get a lot of pleasure from, that that is moving forward. So it's either a hobby or a project, or it's... Um, or it's a relationship that's moving forward. There's some positive progress there. So that's Thursday. Friday, Knight of Swords in reverse. This is somebody that you're interacting with on Friday. Get out of the way. <laughs> that's what I'm hearing from Spirit for you guys. Get out of the way. Now the Knight of Swords in reverse is somebody who is taking some dramatic, speedy action to defend something that is important to them. But when they're in reverse, they don't have the full picture and they're going to end up regretting what they're doing once they have the full picture. So you don't want to be involved in this situation. And the reason you don't is because once this person realizes that what they did is not really what they would have done had they known the full picture, guess what? They're going to start looking normally, not everybody, but normally for a scapegoat. If you are a part of the situation in any way, shape, or form, that puts you as just as much of a target as anybody else to be the scapegoat. If you stay away, pretty hard for anybody to blame you for anything that you did not do if you didn't even participate at all. So step away. Step away from the sandbox when you see this guy or girl coming your way. All right, so let's look at Saturday. Here we have the Seven of Cups showing up in reverse. Seven of Cups in reverse just means that um, you're really focusing on something on Saturday, that you've had a lot of options in this area that we're talking about, which could be any area for you, Aquarius, but you're really focusing in on those options on Saturday. So that's a good thing to have coming up. Now Sunday, you're focusing on the option that you want, making that take priority and taking some action on it. Now, Sunday, what we have here is the Six of Clubs showing up in reverse. Six of Clubs showing up in reverse is telling me that there's a project that you've been working on that not only benefits yourself, but it also benefits others around you in your sphere of influence. So when we see the Six of Clubs in reverse, I feel like this project has been delayed or has met some kind of a setback. I don't feel like it's pitchable. Like I don't, I don't think you're going to throw this project out. I do think you're still putting a lot of energy and effort into it on Sunday. Uh, this is Sunday's card. Have I been saying Saturday? If so, I apologize. This is Sunday's card. But um, you have been putting a lot of effort into it. It's not something that you're going to just give up on. Um, you're just going to deal with the obstacle or deal with the delay and keep on moving, you know, as soon as you get the chance. So that's what I see coming up for that. I do feel like eventually this project will be completed. And when it's completed, it will be a good thing. You'll be glad that you did it. All right. So there we go, Aquarius. That's your week. Thank you so much, everybody, for stopping by, for hanging out, for liking, sharing, subscribing, and commenting. I do appreciate all of your support. I will see you all back here next week, and some of you I'll see before then at Reiki Sessions or at Readings. Everyone have a fantastic week. Peace out. Hello, everybody. This is Amista. And I am coming to you today with something completely different than what you've ever seen here before. Completely different than what I ever thought I would do. Um, I have been taking Reiki training and I've gotten level one and I've gotten level two. And I really want to take master training because already I've realized that there are other people out there who need to know how to be um, able to do Reiki for themselves and I'm not able, I'm not qualified to show them that or to teach them that or to pass it on to them or empower them with that until I become a Reiki master. And so I was looking into a Reiki master program and I meet all the qualifications as far as that goes. I've been accepted into the master program but the last little bit of money is what I need some help with, and I'm hoping that you guys um, will help me with that. Um, I need to raise another $3,000 to get myself into the program, and so that's where you guys come in. Um, what I'm doing is I am accepting very happily and very thankfully and very gratefully any donations that 
you may feel like you would want to give. If you don't want to, obviously, then don't. <laughs> um, but if you do feel like you want to help me to get into this Reiki Master Apprenticeship Program, any help that you, any of you and all of you send is great. Uh, no donation is too small. Um, I just ask that they're over like 35 cents because I think PayPal will take 35 cents of whatever comes in um, as a fee for collecting payment. But anything other than over 35 cents is no donation, donation is too small. So there's the corrected version of that. Um, and actually I was looking with, I have over 7,000 subscribers. If every subscriber donated a dollar, I would be able to end this um, request. But so if you would like to donate, I would be extremely thankful. I would appreciate that a lot. Also, I want to do something for you in exchange for donating. So anybody who would donate at all, um, I would like to offer you 15 minutes of uh, free Reiki distant healing. In other words, I would send you some healing energy um, where you would not have to come to my house or we would not have to meet in person. Um, just like I do a lot of my readings by Skype or by phone. I can also send the healing energy without having to be right in front of you. We don't even have to be on the phone or on Skype when I do it, although I will want to touch base with you ahead of time to find out where you would like me to target that energy. If you have any particular thing you want to um, have worked on energetically and also to touch base after it's done just to let you know that I have sent the energy in to check in with you, see how you're feeling, that type of thing. Um, anybody who donates anything more than $50, what I would like to do is send you some Reiki energy. I would send you the same amount of minutes of Reiki energy as you send dollars. So say you donate $50, then I would send you 50 minutes of Reiki um, energy. Anybody who wants to donate and doesn't want to receive Reiki but knows somebody else that they would like to have the Reiki sent to, um, feel free to let me know that and we, you can gift that Reiki to somebody else and I will just touch base with them, make sure I have permission to send them that energy and um, talk to them about where they would like it targeted and all of that just like I would if I was sending that to you. Um, so that is what I've got going on and I really appreciate, like I said, all of the help any of you can send. I know not everybody can send, not everybody will want to send help, um, but I am hoping that there will be enough to get me into this quickly, quickly, otherwise I would probably have to wait, I don't know, six months, a year before I had this kind of uh, money to get myself into there and I don't want to wait that long. I want to be able to empower people more quickly than that. Um, so what I'm doing is I am in the description section on underneath the video. I'm going to send you a link where you can donate and you can choose whatever amount you want to donate. And um, I will probably also have that um, showing in the video as well. So thank you, thank you, thank you everybody for listening and for giving this some thought, some prayer, some attention. And um, thank you everybody who actually does donate as well. I appreciate it all. Thank you so much. Peace.